Hey Joe, I am outside of the Bayside Lane uh, listing. I'll give you a quick little tour. Um, so you may not be able to see it, but straight ahead is the bay. Um, so the water is quite literally right there, just down that walk. Um, the unit is just behind me right here. Uh, you might be able to see the balcony. And so you're basically just one street off of the water. And then this is kind of like the main entrance for your, the unit. Um, if you're walking, um, so you would walk in here. This is exclusively for your unit or this unit, I should say. Um, so I'll kind of pause here so you can get a feel of it. Um, you can see the water through there. It's just kind of through trees and stuff, but you can see it. And then making our way down here. So this is the door for the unit that we're looking at. Um, there is like a metal uh, gate there. That's for access for the other unit. So this is the carport area. This is what I was talking about being shared. Um, so this is shared for both units, this laundry. Um, so this other unit is able to walk through here and access here. So technically they could access there, but you may be able to get like a gate or something if you really were worried about them doing that. Um, that's something we could potentially check with the HOA and stuff. Um, but realistically, like, this is a pretty private um, patio. Um, I think really the only people that have access to it is over there, and it'd be pretty odd for them to come, you know, into your space over there. Um, so this is the parking. Um, I took the measurements, and I'll include them in my email. Uh, but just for your knowledge, let me just get it. Uh, it's a little bit funky, too, the way that it's laid out. I don't know. You should be able to see it in the um, 360. There's a little bit of this, like, divider in the middle. So each spot is eight and a half feet wide and 20 feet long. Um, they're just kind of a little bit, like, in a V shape almost. Um, as far as clearance, there is, um, from the top of this beam, down to the ground is seven inches, seven and a, or sorry, seven feet, two inches. Um, and then the clearance past it is eight feet, four inches. So you do get a little bit of room once you get past that beam, but obviously, you know, a car, you're gonna have to clear that beam. Um, and again, I'll outline that on my um, email. And then it looks like there is some additional storage here. Uh, there's locks on it. I'm not exactly sure like if one, you know, if one unit gets the bottom and one gets the top or how that's arranged. Um, but some, definitely something I can look into. Sorry, one moment. So now let's head into the unit. Uh, so when you first walk in, uh, you are got the stairs right away, and then you have your first bedroom. There is a pocket door here um, that will close that off. And decent sized bedroom, a little bit, um, I would say in general, the rooms have a little bit of an odd layout because um, it's a little bit of a wedge shape, um, but honestly a decent amount of space um, here. We've got a nice big closet. Oh, a little bit deceiving, I guess. <laughs> Not as big as it looks. So the stairs go there. Let's pull it this way. Oh yeah, so here's most of the closet space. So yeah, it's kind of like an under the stairs type thing. And then... And we have first bathroom. Again, it's a full bathroom with a, just kind of a, give you an idea of the shower space. Definitely on the smaller side, but it's got you know everything that you would need. And then I'm gonna make my way upstairs. So 
I'm standing, you know, right in the middle of the living room. Uh, definitely has that beach vibe, um, especially with the current decor and stuff that they have. Um, I'm going to be following up with the agent on some of your questions um, that I just haven't got the answers to yet. Uh, but definitely a nice little living space. And then you do, if you step outside, we have the nice kind of um, dual sliding doors, which really open it up. And you can very clearly from here uh, see the water through the trees. You may not be able to see it with the light. Let me see if it transitions. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. So right through there is the water, um, and I can very clearly see it. Um, and you have a pretty good sized deck here, actually. Like um, They've got this kind of bistro table for four with the umbrella, and there's still plenty of space here. Um, even a little bit of extra over here. They've got the grill here. And making my way over here. This is have set, set up as like the dining area. Um, kitchen is again with the whole um, property. It's kind of like a wedge shape, so you have a little bit funky layouts, but it does work. It's definitely tight here. Um, I think yeah, you can actually see the water. Um, through this window over on this side. Yeah, you can't see it to the left, but you can see the water so straight ahead. Um, you can see some boats and stuff. And then towards the back here, we have the other uh, bedroom. This one's a little more of a traditional, uh, like, box layout. Um, and again, this one has the bigger closet. Yeah, I would say this is like a full-size closet here. And with this room as well, um, you can see, actually very clearly see the water. Um, let me see if I can get it to focus. I don't know if you're going to, I don't know if it's going to work well with the light there, but um, probably the biggest view of the water is from this room, which I guess you could probably consider the master. And then lastly, we have the bathroom. Um, this one's definitely larger than the one downstairs. So yeah, hopefully this tour helped. Honestly, very like seems like a really good fit for what you, you're looking for with your family. Definitely has the beach vibes. Um, super close to the water. I mean, the, the base side, you could literally throw a football into the water practically. And, um, you know, if you're looking for surf in the waves, uh, you have the beach, uh, the ocean side, just a very short walk that way. Um, parking is very tough in this area. I actually had a lot of trouble finding parking. Um, but like I kind of mentioned before, a big bonus for this is that it does have two parking spots, um, which is very desirable for this area. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Again, I'm looking into a few things uh, more that I'll be following up with the agent, but hopefully this gives you a good idea of the property.